Okay, and Don, we decided to send you a live email. This way you can link up and send it out to everybody on board. This way we all can give testimonies, not just about the miracles, the signs and wonders, but about the presence. So we get caught up in all the miracles and praise God for them. But there's so many things happen where people's hearts get touched, where people get mended, people get set free. And we want people to hear about those things. And because we can get so focused on the major, we miss the minor. But we've seen a lot of things happening. We've been up in a week on New York, Kayla and I, and we've seen a lot of people emotionally touched. And Kayla's right behind me. She'll share some of the things that she witnessed. Um, I remember a lady and she had cancer in her throat and we were all in a circle just um, hanging out and um, she came up for prayer and she just started like convulsing and coughing and um, we prayed all the cancer out of her throat and um, let's see, there was a lady and um, she just started breaking down and she was like, I feel so worthless, I feel so like left out and so alone and um, we went back into the back room and took her back there and um, prayed over her and she just came out with such a different countenance like completely her heart was changed around and all those lies that had been like fed to her um, came out and yeah just a big healing for her. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of those meetings that we do or in the morning they were conducted like the meetings at your house where people come together in a small group and we talked about shame, fear, control. And there were quite a few people that were set free from their shame, their fear. A lot of incidents that happened in their lives that they've never told anybody about. Even some things were trying to guard people because there's a lot of people who were prominent that were really healed emotionally uh, who suffered their whole life of emotional damage from being raped and stuff like that by the family. And a lot of those people are emotionally set free from their shame and their pain. And the presence of every meeting every night was really amazing. We had one uh, fellow, Brody, walk in with his girlfriend who had never been slain in a spirit. And he walked over to introduce her. Next thing you know, she got hit with the Holy Spirit. It was out. It was awesome. Haley, you want to share? About uh, Tyler? Oh, yeah. Um, there was a kid, and he... Um, he was up for prayer and they were praying over him and God gave me a word for him and when I gave him the word he like flipped out and like spun around and ran around the room and um, it's exactly what he needed it was like he was he was getting so like hopeless on what he was working on for the Lord and God just came in and encouraged him so much and he wasn't going to go to any of the other meetings but he ended up going to every meeting and gave his testimony in front of everyone and got to sing in front of everyone too and it was just like God came in and like set a fire in his heart again. It's awesome. Yeah, he got to do his rap song in front of the congregation. It was just went over so well. People's hearts were so open to this young man. It was amazing. The presence of God is the biggest thing we would want to share with you that the presence, the anointing of God's presence was in the meetings and people were just being healed sitting in their chairs. Nobody laying hands on them. People with bad backs, bad necks, things like that were being supernaturally touched by the Holy Spirit just being in the presence. And that's really what we're seeing now, the presence of God manifesting in the meetings. And when it manifests, all kinds of signs and wonders, little, little tiny miracles, little things that are happening to people, but it changed their life because God's presence touched their heart and God became real to them. And then we went on from there. We drove all the way to Mississippi and Ryan to my, I guess at my left on the computer here, he joined up with us in Mississippi with a couple other team members. And even our first day in Mississippi, Kayla had the privilege of going to the courthouse and it was just like the Holy Spirit just put everybody on Holy Ghost arrest and we had such access to everything in the courthouse and Kate will tell you the, the pleasant time she had there anointing chairs with people and <laughs> go ahead share with you. <laughs> yeah it was like almost no one was in the building and so um, the lady who worked there she was a Christian and she was just like oh pray over their desk and pray for this guy and oh he needs help and we just went around and um, like anointed all the keyboards and phones and <laughs> like anything we could get our hands on. 
it's, it's still going. Yeah, just like we had free access to the whole court system, and there was nobody to to checkmate us. And they, matter of fact, by five o'clock, the building was empty. It was ours. They were gone. They were just supernaturally leaving the building, or the ones that didn't leave got were getting touched by God. And uh, yeah, then we found out by doing some study in history, there were trees around the courthouse where slaves were hung. And uh, that was another awesome witness for us to see people joining together with us to redeem the land, to break the curse that had been over Vicksburg, Mississippi. And also Kayla and I did some study while we were there and we uh, discovered that a lot of the history that we studied, a lot of things that were shared to us in school were erroneous. So many things that we thought were truth and are not truth. Want to share something? Hello. Um, like we we went through um, a military park and we were just looking at all the things like Illinois and all these states that have nothing to do with Mississippi. Um, we realized how much they had an influence on the war and all of that and how like the t uh, the Trail of Tears went through Vicksburg, Mississippi, and just all the pain and agony of all of that and just the the cruelty that people placed on other people in Mississippi. Amazing. Yeah, then Ryan and uh, Kayla, we went to a assisted living home to a lady on her deathbed, and Ryan will share what happened there with him, her and, him and Kayla. Yeah, we went to the assisted living home and we prayed for a lady who was pretty much on her deathbed, and, and Kayla and I and Bill, we prayed for her, and uh, and she went out and she was just just fell asleep in the spirit on her bed, and then the lady who was taking care of her, we prayed for her too, <laughs> and and she went out too, and so we didn't say bye or anything, we just walked out, and then we saw them. I think it was the next day at the meeting. And or it was either well the next day or the next the, the day after that, and the lady who was on her deathbed she had to come introduce herself to us again because we didn't recognize her she was like a whole a whole new person, and uh, and then we we went to another house yeah. and a lady who had I think she had been in an accident and her arm was in a sling and we prayed for her and she ripped the sling off her arm and she was just swinging it around. And it was totally healed. All the pain left. And then the Lord gave Bella a word that she had this blood disorder that she hadn't told anybody about. And, and the Lord healed that. And she just was blown away. <laughs> Couldn't believe because she hadn't said anything to anyone. The Lord healed her right there. It's really awesome. God's still making house calls. He's still yeah. a great physician. And you don't have to make an appointment with him. He just shows up. That's what's really cool about God. We're seeing these kind of miracle signs and wonders. It's like all across the market. It's not just what we're witnessing, but other people are witnessing great signs, wonders, and miracles. But the greatest of all of them is the fact of His holy presence. Even when we were in California, the presence of God was in the meetings. You can just feel the Shekinah glory filling the room. It's His presence. It's the glory coming in and people supernaturally being touched. And all through Mississippi, we could tell you all day about stories that going downtown in Mississippi and going to all the shops, going in and out of shops, and they even kidnapped Kayla at one shop and had to leave her there. But it was awesome. <laughs> she connected with this woman. It was just amazing to see what was happening there. It was just awesome. Anybody want, anything else you want to share? Yeah, and then uh, just in the meetings, um, have just been the presence, like he was just saying, has been so, so awesome. People come in, and by just the service is so full of the presence and the glory of God. And and people, it's awesome to see after the service, people don't just run out and leave, but people just hang out and talk, and people who maybe were not as, not as uh, social are just opening up and they're becoming free and they're not, you know coming getting set free from fear and a lot of you know inner stuff a lot of inner healing I know the Lord's doing in people just by being in his presence there is a um, there's another lady we were in New Jersey and we were at this hotel and she she was um, I don't know if she was an apostle or what she was but she was on vacation 
she had been through a lot and she was getting kind of old and um, and we found out she was there so we just went in to hang out with her and pray with her and we came in and she had been through so much pain and she was just like really having a hard time and we just came in and um, prayed over her and it was like all the pain left her and just this like this light came into the room as before yes. when we walked in it was like kind of heavy <laughs> and like cloudy and she started to smile and was full of joy and you could tell like she before she was just like kind of um, like moving around her food not really like you know eating was a process for her but after like when we were leaving she was like I want to go to church with you guys like I feel like my body is full of like strength to go I haven't felt that strong but I've been trying to walk and it was like God just renewed her and gave her new strength and she was able to come to the meeting and um, just yeah. hang out with us and go for a walk which was like, really a big deal for her yeah. So, that's cool. yeah it's awesome and just before we were in New York right now and on our way up to New York we stopped at a lady's house who had chronic back pain and chronic illness to her, in her body and we had the uh, pleasure of praying over her and supernatural she was healing and it was just really awesome and matter of fact even before that all of us were down in Florida getting ready to go to New York and we're just sitting together like we're sitting together right now and uh, my daughter we, I just felt the anointing for healing in the room and my daughter kind of come up got prayer from all of us and kind of like you know it's dad it's his friends no big deal but then we prayed over her and she sat down <laughs> on a stool and she started crying <laughs> get excited she realized her body was healed it's just it's stuff like that it's just awesome I'm telling them about the girl and her husband got rid of all the, all the alcohol oh yes we were in Virginia Beach and uh, this young lady has a call in her life but she got into alcohol and got into drugs it was really messed up and we had the privilege of going to the house with her and we visit with her and we get a call the next day that after our visit her husband who's also an alcoholic got rid of all the booze in the house and she hasn't been on booze and he has not been on booze and I didn't even tell Kayla this last night I was talking with her and they're actually turned completely around they're, they're going the other way now and they're, they're getting the help that they need and their, their marriage has been saved and they're getting off the alcohol now and getting delivered from the drugs. It's, it's, it's amazing. And these are so many incidents. And even in Hawaii, we could take into Hawaii so many things. A lot of our ministry in Hawaii was on one-to-one -one basis and on, in the streets and the beaches and the miracles, the signs, and wonders, and the, the presence of God. People are really drawn to the presence, to the anointing of God, and, and their hearts are being healed. We, we, a lady, uh, Lalani, she had bad knees and a bad back. We went out to dinner with her right in front of the restaurant, and she got healed by the Holy Spirit. It was awesome. Anything you want to share about Hawaii? There was the uh, there was a lot of homeless people in the park that we would go hang out at, and one of the homeless ladies had cancer. I think it was in her back, was it? Yeah. And and her and all the pain left her body, and her cancer got healed right in the right in the <laughs> middle of the park. Yeah. Her feet were swollen, the swelling went right down, her back straightened up, and then uh, they had the girls that were doing the dance for the homeless people, and we had the privilege, the Holy Spirit used us to just start ministering to them, and that was awesome. It was awesome. So there's a lot of signs and wonders, a lot of miracles are happening, the team is growing. As you can see, there's three of us here. We have Liz has just come on board. She's not on, I don't know where she's at right now. Are you around, Liz? Liz! But the team is growing, and we keep it, we're seeing these things all over. We're up in New York right now. There's a lot of devastation up here. There's a there's over 144 million dollars of, of damage to homes and buildings, and churches are closed up. And churches are gathering together with other churches to help each other to get through. Churches are opening up their doors to business and let them operate out of their churches because that some of the buildings are only left to some of the churches. And it's just a miracle the things that how people are being joined together up here because of all the devastation. And like Brian was sharing, after the meetings, people are getting together now and they're talking, they're fellowshipping. 